Call of Duty Ghosts. Now you might be saying, wait, didn't you already review this game like back in January? No, that one was for the PS4. So I'm going to try and go over the stuff I didn't go over in that other review. Unfortunately, the little reviewer was not available to be in on this review. So if you want to know his feelings on this game, watch my PS4 review of it. I'm not going to get into too many differences between this version and the PS4 version. There really isn't that much difference. But I'm sure you're saying, well, it graphically looks worse. Well, of course that's true. Sure, it looks a bit fuzzy and everything looks like it's on a medium to low graphical settings. But I never really noticed anything that stood out as a major difference. If I had a more powerful computer, I would split the screen into two, and I would show you the graphical differences between the two. However, like I've said in previous reviews, since my computer can barely run Hunt the Wampus, and if you don't know what that is, then I really am old. But like I've said before, I just can't do those special effects. But the game did control well. I had no problems using the big gamepad as a controller, but I preferred the Pro Controller. Mainly because I was used to the PlayStation 4 controls, and that controller is a lot like it. When I did use the gamepad, I was disappointed that the gamepad touchscreen wasn't used much at all. It was basically used as an option screen, and it showed you your objectives. However, since most of the objectives could be summarized into just keep moving forward in an enclosed space, it really was kind of pointless. I really wish there was more things we could have done with the touchpad, since it was so underused. Well, the one other thing you could use it for is an off TV option. Now the story is about a bunch of people trying to stop a terrorist group from taking over the U.S. after a massive attack years previous. The story does jump around a little, and at times it was a bit hard to follow. But truthfully, it was easier the second time around, as I knew how they were trying to flow the plot. Now the big gimmick of this one is the inclusion of the dog. They found a way to remotely control a dog, and I thought that was pretty cool. I can't even get my dog to fetch my slippers, and they had this dog sneak around and murder men at will. That's pretty impressive. They would put a camera on the dog and give a command. He would occasionally take control of that dog in order to stealthily get through areas and take out enemies. I'm glad they added this mechanic, but I'm really glad that they didn't overdo it. It's used just enough that you didn't get sick of it, and that's always a plus. Now, just like the PlayStation 4 version, there is multiplayer you can do. However, I had some issues with it going online. When I tried, it wanted me to download another map pack, and it wouldn't let me progress past that part of it unless I did that. But when I went to download the pack, it made me pinky promise that I own the game. And since I didn't and I was just renting it, I couldn't download it. I did try to not download the map, but it just crashed my Wii U. So I just couldn't test the online capabilities. So sorry about that. I, however, did test the local multiplayer. I played a few rounds with the little Wii viewer and we teamed up. Like the PlayStation 4 version, you can adjust your characters in the match conditions. However, one of the biggest pluses of the Wii U version was that the first player could use the touch screen and the other one would use the TV screen. Just like the LEGO games, it made the multiplayer way more convenient. You can also unlock another mode called Extinction, where they have you battling against aliens just by playing a little bit of the story. Call of Duty Ghost was just like the PlayStation 4 version that I reviewed back in January. While it's not as pretty by any means, it is not an ugly duckling. I had no problems using the big gamepad as a controller. I just wish the actual gamepad was used more. Now I'm sure this is going to come up. Which one did I prefer more, the PlayStation 4 version or the Wii U version? Truthfully, it's a toss-up when it came to the single-player game. Multiplayer, I would give it to the PlayStation 4, mainly because I couldn't test the online capabilities of the Wii U version. I wouldn't imagine the Wii U version would have a very large community, seeing how the Wii U version sold so poorly. However, if you can get the online multiplayer working, I bet you it'd be a lot of fun to play. Even in the local mode, the multiplayer was pretty good. Plus, the story was very interesting. If all you own is a Wii U, yeah, go ahead and get this game. It's totally worth a buy. But if you own the other systems, I probably would look into those instead.